Hello, welcome to Gatewalkers. We're on session six. Not too bad. We skipped a week due to uh, well, uh, certain missing players, but that's okay. Now we're all here and we're ready to go. We're ready to kill some bosses. We're gonna do a little bit of a recap here. Um, let me see. Uh, so, uh, Jarden, Cass, you should be at two hero points. Yes, enable that. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, um, just because I want somebody to have three hero points, uh, I'm going to choose not Helmy because they didn't watch the last session. And Donovan and Grim are already at full. So I'm going to roll a 1d2. One is... I'm not at full. I'm at two. Yeah. Oh, you're all, all three of you are at two. That's correct. That is right. Jarden, Cass, and Donovan are at two. So I'm going to roll 1d6. One to two is Jarden. Three to four is Cass. Five to six is Onovan. Cass, do me a yeah. recap of last session. All right. Third hero you should five. get one again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we uh, started exploring uh, the second floor mostly last. Uh, uh, second floor. Yeah, second floor. A lot of it at least. And finishing up the first floor, uh, we, we had quite a bit of uh, bad luck. Some pretty uh, gnarly fights uh, out and about. Uh, quite a lot of trap rooms. Uh, uh, we had a uh, like a rope bridge fall on us. You know, Cass took a nasty tumble down. And let's see what else. What else? Yeah, we, I don't think if we, we talked. Uh, we we ended off uh, trying to almost light the uh, the entire place on fire until we uh, talked with some leshies and they told us they had their, their friends up top. Which we have uh, since discovered to be the the missing f finger halflings, right? Y the missing gnomes, yes. yes. Gnomes, yeah, gnomes, yeah. Sorry, yeah, that's the race, yeah. Uh, so you know that's <laughs> pretty good. We didn't uh, we didn't do that. That could have been uh, quite uh, catastrophic. Uh, yeah, we 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 uh, bamboozled uh, the dwarf. Uh, can't remember his name, but he was a. Uh, to let us up here because we are wanting Delphon, to speak with. Uh, talk to Dalfon, yes, indeed. Yeah. And Boosland to speak with a uh, Boland. And uh, now here we are, ready to fight the big bad and maybe not die. Maybe you not know, gotta... die, potentially. We'll see, we'll see. Um, we'll see. Now, uh, Chad is oh. having issues. Yes, uh, uh, Joy. Okay, so if I recall, roleplay wise, we were not certain if we wanted to fight this guy. Has anything we... about that come up? Or do oh, we... so... I think we tried to hit him. Okay, so we do want to... You talk to guy. him, he ended up being kind of a gross eco-terrorist that was like, destroy all humans kind of thing, right? Oh, yeah, fair enough. So um, <laughs> you were trying to negotiate, but that went south when Bonus was kind of asked to roll a deception, and instead he rolled, he rolled an attack roll. If I recall correctly. In my yeah. defense. Damn, Bonus. You were the it, one who didn't want to kill him. In my <laughs> defense... Happened. We'd we'd exhausted. We'd done like two pers persuasion rolls by that point, yeah. and our rolls had been hairy all session. Um, gotcha. I yeah. think I think I think most people are on board with us are just yeah. going for it. So you were just like, okay, I can't, I'm, I can't be bothered. Let's just kill this guy. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> it was like we we tried our best. We gave him every every shot to shoot. Yeah, yeah. I think we, yeah. we still we still want him alive. So yeah, we want him alive. We uh... okay, so we're not killing him. Okay. Yeah, correct. Not, not if you can help it. What about the other two? Fair game. Yeah. Okay. There's a bunch oh. of hostages like out here. Um, and don't one... take any risks, but you know. no. What are you doing? Well, if it's surrender, there's no reason to kill them. Uh, I did make a note about something. Um, there is also. Uh, we found out that Kenny. Have we talked about Canipo yet? You Surreal? you found out about Canipo. You you can. Um, I'm just wondering if it's in, in the recap because I want to like. No, help not, not in the recap. Here. Yeah, not in the recap. But you can you can mention it. He's. I'm assuming once you capture him, he can release more information on that. But yeah, go ahead and mention yeah. Kenipo. Uh, just quickly before I do that, who's Rafon and Minoma? Who's what? Rafon and Minoma. Those are the plant people, the leshies. Uh, Rafon. I think. Rifon, Rifon and Monoma. Rifon, got these Rifon names Rifon was a um a random kind of quote unquote random encounter that you faced over here. He was oh sweet, yeah. got you. Yeah. Okay, got you, got you. Um, so basically, Kanipo is a fae from the Shadow Realm, and apparently, 
they're the ones that started the Umberlord curse. Um, and they actually have the gate key, which we presume to mean is the key that is able to open these gates that we've all gone through at will. Mm -hmm. um, but what's strange is uh, Nolan has... Or Dolan? What's his name again? Bolan. Fuck, now I'm oh, doing Bolan. it. Dolan. <laughs> Bolan has I can I hovered over him, but then the Cass's icon thing is over. Um, I uh, 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 we asked about like how to get in touch with Kanipo, and Bolan was like, "You don't get in touch with Kanipo. Kanipo gets in touch with you." Um, and yeah, that's kind of where. Uh... Well, we're the best in Bloom, buddy, and we're damn well gonna uh, we're we, gonna talk uh, to. Him. Do me a favor, Grim, roll initiative. Oh. Can you hear One me? other thing I want to know. Wait. Hello, yes. Hi, Chad. All right. Is it working, Chad? Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, well, um, I got my laptop out, which appears to be uh, stronger than my desktop. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, strong star. Hell yeah, Joy. I love rolling. Um, Jarden, you should be a three hero points. Cash, you should be a th th no. Jarden, you should be a two. Cash, you should be a three. Edit those yep. accordingly. Um, and we're going to start with the battle. Uh, so let's begin. As you all draw your weapons, Bolin will also draw his. This is this is a flat battle. No surprises here. We were all ready for this. You all hear. Yeah, I missed my attack. You all hear footsteps. Um, where they be heavy footsteps thundering behind you, as you see a. Well, go to describe a character for me, Helmy, please. <gasps> yeah, you see a uh, short-ish mini-eyed lady whose hair keeps trying to fly away who looks like this but is you know in half plates and is probably covered in sweat and pa panting a fair bit sorry i'm late it took a while to get here did i miss anything is anyone dead please tell me no one's dead am i seeing double or does that lady have a lot of eyes but is this another one of bolin's loss uh, Bolin, who is just confused. That, that, no? Are you, are you sure? I, uh, yeah, did you not forget? Tell me, what are you doing? Like, are you acting aggressive? <laughs> what, what, like, how are you, uh, you? Start doing your turns in common and describe what you're doing. I'll put the battle music on. Here. Mm -hmm. uh, you would have seen moments ago, moment. just to help you out, is lost the, the plant thing here. Try and smack Bolin. So that's maybe what you saw as like, you walked toward the... Did that if just that happen? Like, li like, literally, that was the last thing before we rolled initiative, was that? Yeah. So my guess is that I would run in, and I wouldn't immediately know who were allies. And who <laughs> <I'm with. laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> so as much as it pains me, I would probably delay until somebody told me what the fuck was going that's on. Absolutely, the that's absolutely... That's absolutely fine. It's probably a smart move Um, if you wanted to do that. Let me play the boss music, because Bolin... Fucking bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, is this too loud? Yeah, right, you may want to get out of the way. <laughs> so, Helmy, let me know when you want to come back in. Yeah? We'll Perfect. Bolin, though. You have angered me, and you will pay for this transgression. Will start. Um... Oh, perfect. Will target Islos and use Vengeful Fibers. Um... You don't have to. You know what? Fine. I'll target you, Onovan, <laughs> and use Vengeful Fibers. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, your clothes start animating and start attacking you as they come to life and then start trailing you. I need you to roll me this for me, please. Okay. This is... <clears throat> Quick, Onovan, take your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I select my thing and all that. Select your token and hit the button. Ah, oh, here we go. This Damn, is a good start. Damn, Pablo, what have you done? <laughs> As your... Uh, I, f I actually... Uh, 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 no. Go on then. Yeah, I'll fail it. Fucking... Do you have hero points? Let me know. No. Yeah, I know, but no. Okay. It's it's gonna... This is... Look how we're rolling already. It's gonna be a long fight. You're gonna take 16 damage. As your I should have rolled the hero point. <laughs> As your clothes start strangling you, you are also flat-footed at this point. Uh, 
Remind the fuck? reminder, let me do the uh applying damage stuff. However, uh, okay. Ballin will roll full of backlash, as this is his deviant ability. He's gonna roll 1d20, Ooh. DC5, succeed. Alright? As that is one action of his. He will then use his next two actions to cast Shillelagh on his staff. Oh, nasty man. As he will... Scott, any fighters here with attack of opportunity? No. All good. That is Bolin's turn. Uh, how do you react, Onovan, as you get strangled? Uh, why are my own clothes attacking me? No! I didn't... I made these myself! <laughs> Let me know when you want to jump in, Helmy. Yes? At this point, I think I would jump Perfect. in. Uh, I, the plant people are attacking one another. I don't really know what's going on, but generally good people don't strangle other people with their clothes. Fair assumption. So I will. Uh, unless I am stopped, I will attempt to run in. Okay. You and... squeeze past Jarden uh, for free movement, and you can use your first action to... That's fine. You can move there. And uh, my second action, because it was unlikely to be drawn at that point, will be to draw my sword. Perfect. I need, uh, I don't know if other DMs make you do this, but I need you to target enemies by hovering over them. Press T if you're ever going to attack them. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And, uh, well, might as well attack. And nice. You rush in forward and, what the fuck, man? Nice. Yes, go ahead. All right, roll me critical. Thank God you don't have a striking. Thank God. Oh my gosh! You, if you had a striking, he would have been straight up dead as ball. Ugh! Who the fuck are you? He's on the fence. Me. Yeah, who I are you? Nice to meet you, but you seem like a bit of an asshole. Uh, uh, help me! I, I don't know, know who you wrong. are, but. Uh, we're, we're, yes, they're they're a buddy, but um, we're also trying to not kill them. Uh, just you know, knock them out if that helps at all. Okay, yeah, we're we're raiding. We're taking hostages. I can do that. <laughs> That's, That's your sorry. turn, Helmy. Suspicious. Delphon will. Uh, oh shit, shit, shit. He's gonna cast. You know what? He is going to cast a spell. He's going to cast Shillelagh on his staff. Would you like to take an attack yeah. opportunity, Helmy? I very much would. Perfect. Go ahead and target him and strike at him. Jardin, watch out behind you. That, that Delphon person has that spider around. Be careful. Not as good this time around. That'll miss. And then with his third action, you don't attack Del uh, Bolin in front of me. He's going to staff you. That will miss. He should have flanked, but he couldn't. He couldn't flank because, well, there's no way to know where to flank. Cass! Yeah, I think you know what's uh, about to happen. Some uh, inspire courage with lingering composition. Perfect. Oh, hell me. Oof. Yes, is... let's go. Oh, You're no. too itchy. <laughs> You're too itchy, Cass! Yeah, fuck me! Alright, that's, that's that sucks. Uh, yeah, uh, that's my action. I'm gonna try and cast Inspire Courage this time, because I can't uh, bling in composition anymore. Mm -hmm. Do the same, do the uh, thing. There, there we go. go. Alright, go ahead and nice. Inspire Courage the party. God, I am inspired. Yeah, this is good! This is a good uh, story about uh, how we win at combat. Will we? Uh, I, I didn't say that. This is just a story about how to do it. <laughs> well, I hope your story is true. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I will uh, take my last action to uh, whip Bolan. Whip it! By the way, guys, whip. um, I want to mention this announcement. I forgot. There is a glitch in my some of my modules. I need to figure out what it is. It might rearrange your initiative. Keep an eye on our initiative. All right, if it rearranges it, I need to press F12 and figure out what it is. Anyway, that hits. Let me damage. Four. Mine is easy. Four. It's last. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Jarden. Okay. Oh, we're doing the my turn thing again, huh? Okay, quick. All right. Um, you hear me still? Yep. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, I don't know if you remember Pablo, but I did say that I grabbed my staff when you said you we could all had weapons, draw our we weapons. All had weapons. Yep. Don't worry. Yep. 
uh, but I wanted to change to two-handed. You're good. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to move behind Cast, and using the reach and trip abilities of my staff, I'm going to try to trip uh, uh, Bolin. Dolan, yes. Go ahead. Dolan. No, it's Bolin. I'm, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Dolan's the Dolan, duck. Dolan. Dolan's the duck, yes. <clears throat> okay. It's an old meme. And that'll be athletics, yep, correct? Yep, absolutely. Target him. You should be uh, target him, and then under your skill actions, you should... Well, oh, really? Uh, it's fine. Next time, do me a favor. Go to your second tab of your character mm -hmm. sheet. Target him. Use trip. Athletics plus seven. Makes it easier for me. I think that will fail. Let me check his reflex. That will gotcha. fail. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'll use a hero point. Right click. and Nice. <laughs> we roll using a hero point, please. I can get my computer to do it. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, it did the thing. I'll move it back up. Oh, let me find let me find the uh the module. What did it do? Was it combat ready? No. That'll miss. That'll mm, not much better. It. Yeah. What? Okay. Uh then I will um get really mad and I will MAP minus one. Uh, I will spell strike using um, gouging claw. Perfect. Well, actually, no, we want to ca we want to capture him, don't we? Yeah. Uh, I will just smack him uh, non-lethal. That's a minus two to your attack roll, unless you're I think I don't know if you're uh... Staff has another non-lethal trait. Let me know. Uh, no, it doesn't actually have oh, the non okay. non-lethal. Okay, minus so. two to your attack roll. Okay. Mm, that'll miss, unfortunately. Yeah. Boy, I'm doing I'm doing doing great, and then that's, you know what? I will just. That's your turn. That's two. That's my turn. Yep. You, you that is stepped. My turn. You tripped. You attacked. From behind. Oh, that's right. Yep, I I couldn't. Yeah. Yep, From got it. behind, you hear a skittering, as the dream spider. Ah, oh, fucking hell! Will start moving using one action, two actions, and three actions, following Helmy, to get all the way here. Oh lord, I'm kind of lost, guys. But this thing's not friendly, right? No, it's I don't big believe spider. so. That was usually our not friendly. Sunward. Oh god, no! I dare you to fight me. I'm scared. Uh, in the in the image I saw on the front, this there was a sunflower that shot like a beam of burning light yeah, against I all the heroes. <laughs> this oh yeah, it has a yeah. Damn, let's hope it's uh... setting up a not this one. On a video, uh... you, you obviously know how to kill plants, right? So no, 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 only how to Why grow don't them. Why you go ahead? Why would I know how to? I got a green thumb, not a brown one. Oh, Wait. Well, I mean, of course, you've had to kill plants before, right? Or take them out of their pots or whatever. Go, do your thing. I trust you. Okay, Sunward doesn't want to hurt their allies, so he can't use his AoE attack, but that's fine. I'm Ooh. just going to go ahead and attack Cass a couple of times yep. here. The bastards. Oof. Oh my gosh. Um, Ouch! I swear, we are rolling like shit, and the enemies are doing yeah. the complete opposite. Yeah. This one will miss, and then he will yeah. step back one. That is <laughs> his like turn. Onovan. Okay. Don't move. I've got an idea. Or at least try not to move too much. I d Please. Where, where do you where need me to be? Just close so I can reach you. So you can reach me? Feck. Can you reach me from here? I mean, probably. <laughs> well, if you can reach me from here. Can you, can you reach me over there? And I point to the corner of the room. I don't think so. Oh, right, great. That, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I mean, um, do your thing. I, I'm just thinking this might help us. No, I'm sure there's no problems. Uh, is lost to me. Uh, and Islos is going to run to me, mm -hmm. uh, whilst I cast on them. Oh, magic fang. Mm. 
It's going to be very short. I'm going to die very soon, so it's fine. Um, it's got spawn. Dragon drop. And then I on. so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how this really works, but I assume I'm flanking with Grim against the Dream Spider. Uh, no. It's got to be on Why? the opposite yeah, yeah. sides. Delphon is on the opposite side. Jordan and Grim. No, 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 no. Is is lost? Is lost? Oh, got reach. yeah, is lost. Is absolutely. They got reach. All good. Yeah, it should. Okay. It should be automated. Target him and do the thing. Somebody watch out for someone. This we're in a bad position here, but Grim, I trust you. Famous last words. Uh, the, <laughs> wow, wow. His last is going to reach out with a vine and try and strike at the dream spider. Sorry. Hey, Trey, I need a picture of your... Is that a cat? Yes. I need a picture of your cat and pet tax or I will charge 50% extra at the end of the session. <laughs> Just a heads up. Gotcha. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I think that's everything. Please, please, just smack this up. Hits. Roll me down. I mean, 20, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll take that. That's okay damage. Sure. Oh, wait, hold Ooh, on. It shouldn't, have, it shouldn't have Titan Swing on it. Oh. I don't know no. what to okay, do. Okay, go ahead and re-roll the damage without Titan Swing. Because that 17 would have killed, but obviously... 18 would have... Ah! Yep. Oh! The spider, nice. the spider is... And you just see like spider juices everywhere. It's gross. We um, didn't. We didn't want to non-lethal damage that one, right? Uh, no. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Look, Delphon. I don't want to do this to the rest of you, but y uh, just fucking stop, right? You chase. Okay, I'm done. Uh, uh, Grim, help. Wait, that's one okay. action, and then is that four actions? <laughs> that is four. Yeah. Yeah. Four effective actions, Grim. Okay. I've got two questions. So, in D and D, I, if I recall, Chalet is uh, hooked to a weapon. Mm -hmm. Is that in Pathfinder as well? Yes. Gotcha. And um, shit, I forgot what my second question was. Sure. <laughs> uh, is disarming one action? He, uh, it would be so disarm. I've homebrewed it a little bit, but it's it's. Okay, you've got to, um, it's an action, yes. It's one action. Uh, so could I realistically take his staff? You have to, and then you have to critically event. succeed to have him drop his staff on the ground. All right? If you succeed, he just gets a minus two penalty to attack rolls. I mean, that's fine. I mean... Target him, and if you want to disarm, do disarm under skill actions, yes. I probably have my battle axe uh, already. Do you have... Okay, keep in mind, disarm requires a free hand, unless your weapon is a disarm trait. Yep. Do you have a free hand? Yeah, I've got one. Perfect. I'm not going to disarm it. I, I think it's too risky. I'm just going to strike him once, and then walk over and heal him. If I can do that. Because that's free actions, right? Just making sure. Uh, could you repeat that? Sorry, I was looking at pet tax. So we'll strike him trait. once, yeah. move over, and then heal on of him. Yeah, you can absolutely do that, okay. yeah. Okay. Okay, strike once. Roll eight. Need to target. That'll hit. Roll me damage. I hate this. Why does that not crit? <laughs> you should. Oh, that's that's enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and then walk here. No opportunity attack, and then I'm gonna heal Anovan with my battle. With what? Battle medicine. He's already battle right. medicined. He cannot be battle medicine. No, again. by oh. myself, oh, I can. Oh, oh, yes. Sorry. Target him. Use the macro uh, that I give you. Treat wounds and battle medicine. You can't actually battle medicine, though, uh, uh, Grim. Still, until level two, though. Reminder. Fuck! Reminder. Yeah. Sorry, Anavan. I, uh, I, I, uh... Yeah, sorry. Not good enough, I guess. You, you, I guess he lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> Just like he lied to me about that mask being a real skull. I can't believe this. <laughs> I'm gonna, and that gives, I can MAP minus five, Absolutely, right? yeah. Twice in two days. <laughs> I don't know who to trust anymore. Uh, trust me. I am very trustful. What are these hits, man? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's my second action. And for my, I guess for my third, I'll just disarm. You know. It's, MA, oh, it's that's MAP, MAP, yeah. That's minus 10, yeah. yeah. Um, can I call Reaper over or something? I don't know. Where's Reaper? I don't know. Okay, you can call <laughs> Reaper over. You can have her. I don't know. Where's Reaper? Yeah. Kaka. Kaka. There she is. All right. 
She lands on your shoulder. Was that the action? You can have one more action with Reaper. Reaper right now can do bird support benefit, which is this. Uh, bird packs it. Guys. Somebody sort out that stupid flower. Yeah, okay, Reaper's gonna go. Yeah, I get, I'll, I'll take the flower. flower. Don't worry. Oh, okay. So he's got it? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, in that case, I'm gonna attack the okay. druid you, with Reaper's what, ability. Uh, you can, you can, uh, yeah, until the start of, so, read it carefully. The Yeah, so, hmm. Basically the entire round till I start. So it's gonna keep gonna keep him occupied till I can go again. I'm gonna let you right. use Reaper as a you know distraction to get in his face because the bird support benefit is not gonna help you because it's until the start of your next turn. All right, and you just use your attacks for 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 attacking him. So you can roll mm -hmm. me a uh, roll me an acrobatics with uh, with, with with Reaper, please. Sure, can do, boss. Uh, there you go. Okay, let me just check his stats. That is good enough. Or Delphon, uh, this is a exception, not a not a rule. I'm just gonna allow Reaper to quickly flatfoot Delphon as he is distracted for a second. All right, but I'm gonna do this every time. I'm just letting you do this now, the one time. Okay. All right, that works for me. Gotcha. Bolin will step oh here. Step. And then he will I'm cast. Afraid. What? Afraid. Yeah. You know what? Um, actually, yeah, my, actually, no. I'm he's gonna he, he's not going to step here. He's going to ah. smack you, Cass, first. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Uh, he's about to step. Actually, I was going to do that anyway. I just realized I did Shillelagh for a good reason. And then I didn't. Uh, so that was Shillelagh. That gets you down. Then, uh... yep. then he will step here. And then he will cast... Uh, you know what? I think... Let me see his item treachery. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, he's going to animate... Grin uh, you know, Helmy, what are you wielding? A uh, bastard sword and a steel shield. Okay, a bastard sword has a wooden haft, haft right? It would, I'm yep. assuming. He's going to animate the wood of the bastard sword... As it, it makes your weapon attempt to be wriggled free, I need you to hit this button for me. And then he's going to roll a uh, flat check for a... Okay, that is a failure. He succeeds on the flat check. Uh, what's going to happen? I'm going to go ahead and hero point Okay, right-click and re-roll using hero point. Oof. Mm, Oof. That's bad. You're going to drop your weapon. It's disarmed. Oof. You are disarmed as it like wiggles and falls to the ground. You'll have to spend an action, manipulate to pick it up. Yeah. Help me. Okay. Um. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is punch this dwarf. Okay. <laughs> sure. Go ahead and target him and just unarm strike him. That's a critical hit. Damn, nice. that's a hell of a punch. Click on critical button. I'm really you're on our side. Uh, he's going to be uh, knocked unconscious. Uh, he's not dead dead. He is unconscious. As oh, man. And then I'm going to pick up the sword. Perfect. That's your and second action. Then I am going to run over to... Uh... Yeah, I'll stand over here and... I've got just enough movement to kind of engage him over here, okay. so I'll do that. <clears throat> Perfect. Thank you so much, Helmy. Jarden. Okay, Jarden is going to... He doesn't like the spider, so he's going to adjust um, his Just a heads up. To... Is your founder he's refreshed? Dead. The spider is dead. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Hang on. I got that one, Jarden. Don't, don't worry. Take care oh, okay. of that sunflower. It's it's looking menacing at me. You know, you never know with spiders if they're really dead. You know, they, they you turn away and then their corpse is suddenly gone, yeah. and then you wake um, up at night and you can't <laughs> sleep anymore. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna listen to um, Onovan and go after the sunflower mm -hmm. uh, from right where I am with reach. Mm. Um, and uh, I'm going to spell strike with Gouge and Claw. Perfect. I 
I imagine the fewer petals it has, the less menacing it is. That's how sunflowers usually work. But it has a lot of petals. That'll hit. It'll take a while. Nine and eight. The sunflower is not looking good. Yes. And we are just slaying. Oh shit, it's next though. One it's more fine. action, Jordan. It is. Wait. Um, and then. Boy. Uh... Jordan, if I could give some advice. Go ahead. If I recalled last turn, it didn't want to attack because its friends were near. So maybe step into the range where it would maybe hit Bolin. Or like in front of him. I don't know. Oh, okay. I could do that. I will move then. Over here. Okay. Is that your turn, Jordan? That is my turn. Perfect. Sunward. We'll set up ah, a template. Fake. I... Look, 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 Islas is a plant, okay? Mm. You can be friends. That there's 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 a life after this. You don't have to listen to Bolin. There definitely is. <laughs> after death. <laughs> Like this, uh, maybe? Because I'm you <laughs> Chase. Or I could theoretically do... Uh, you know what? Let me just check a thing here. Yeah, that works. Uh, yeah. I think you need to at least be down. No, he'll, he'll <laughs> move down. He'll to... move as an action, yeah. Okay. And then two actions, seed spray. Um, as he will... Um, uh, he looks jealously as Islos. Islos is a much prettier plant than he is, and he doesn't she like, is, like yeah. that. She is, yeah. She does oh, not like guy. that. So I need Islos. Cat, well, Cast, you will automatically take this damage. Uh, Jarden, hit the button for me. I, I just say, uh, no, anything that hurts Islos hurts me. Uh, oh. Just for help me's sake to sort of TPK? bring you into the fold. Uh, that oh. is a failure, Jarden. Hit the button, Islos, and... Come on, crit, crit, crit. Okay, you will. That's good. I don't know if it can even take any damage. Oh, not bad. You only take Ooh. one. Uh, Jarden takes three. That's a really low roll. Cast, you're at dying Ooh. two. Go ahead and put. No, three. I was I was wounded already. You were wounded already. I was wounded too. I'm I'm dead. You were right wounded now. too. <gasps> yeah, we start, Use yeah. your hero points. Use your hero points. Do you want to? Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah you can stabilize with all your hero points before I'll let you do it before he hits you. You will you will be then dying one. No, be, yeah, no? no? But if I stabilize, I'll be put at dying three and then take the damage that would kill me. Because of wounded. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm already wounded two. So I, I thought it stopped you dying. Oh, no. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Let me double check the hero point stabilization. I think it's before you take the. I, I, I would allow you to... Uh, okay, here's the deal. I, will, I would allow you to just stabilize using hero points before you get hit. However, it, um, let's see. Let, let's just see the rule specifically where it says... It says spend all your hero points to avoid death. You can do this when your dying condition would increase. You lose the dying condition oh, entirely yeah. and stabilize the zero hit points. You don't gain the wounded condition or increase its value. So you basically... This would save you. It would send you to dying three, yeah. What no, it doesn't. No, you don't gain wounding condition or increase right. the value from losing this. Uh, yeah. Let me let me yeah. just go ahead and double check this, guys. Um, so. hero points dying. Uh, I need. Okay, here we go. Hero points rules. Spend all your hero points to avoid death. When your dying condition yeah. would increase, which is right now, you were you're about to increase to four. All right, you lose the dying condition entirely and stabilize with zero hit points. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure as written, you're just stable. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. just yeah. subtract yeah. all three of them. Yeah. So, um, yeah. which is, uh, yeah. which is a big tax, but at least you're not dead, Cass. Yeah. So, um, you are wounded two still. All right. Yeah. All right. Not wounded, wounded two. Wounded two. Yeah. Not wounded three. Okay. Um, yeah. but that is, it's a clutch move right yeah. now. All right. That's Sun Ward's turn. Woo! That was that was close, Onovan. Yep. Ah, shice. I I don't know if I can do anything. I, if if helped cast as much as I can, I, who's got a potion? Who who can help them? I've got one. I suck at healing, uh, <laughs> people. 
Right, J Jardin, <coughs> you've got to help them, but for now, um, right, Islos, we've got this. Um, I'm going to use uh, Boost Eidolon on Islos. Perfect. Uh, Islos is then going to um, attack Sunward. Fine. Hits. There we go. That's that hit. Do nice. the magic fang, oh, well. yeah. Hell yeah, magic fang. Sunward will explode as he dies. As he nice. dies. Oh, for fuck's sake. All plant creatures within 30 foot emanation <gasps> gain two head points, giving you two head points out of them. In addition. <laughs> I got you for a second there. I got you for a second. Oh, uh, the relief. And then the entire area is now considered difficult terrain as massive amounts of sunflowers start growing everywhere. Um, that's hilarious. Yeah, absolutely. Why are you flat footed, Arlen? Get rid of that. All right. Oh, uh, wait. That's still not your turn. Arlen, you still have a few actions left, I think, right? I was flat footed because of the, yeah, uh, clothes attacking me. Oh. For my second action, because that was technically both of those were my first. Um, his loss is going to. Can I get to here? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, it won't actually let me move there, but uh, I'll move you. Thank you. Uh, because then I get to flank at least, and then his loss with my th uh, final action is going to attack with the MMP5 onto Bolin. Come on, come on, yeah! okay, lethally or non lethally. Non-lethal. Oh, I should have reduced if it then. If non-lethal, that would miss. Yeah? Fuck. If you, uh, you are non-lethal, right? Like, I mean, yeah, I'll re-roll it. We're using a hero point then. Okay. Come on! Oh, that was nearly a... Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I will get... Yeah, that's fine. Sorry, bud. That's fine. Yeah, that, that is, is all good. Uh, Grim. Hey, it's me, Grim. Uh, I'm gonna... Dropping is a free action, right? Or is it an action? Free, 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 free. I nodded. Yes. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna drop my battle axe, grab my crossbow. One action. Is it already loaded? You should automatically reload between battles. I th I, that's just the gotcha. thing you would do. Yes. Alrighty. I'm gonna shoot an arrow in him. Uh, I assume it's strike five. Uh, we have to keep them alive. It was the entire mission. You know, guys, this guy is really giving us a lot of trouble, and I'm just saying, Dude. if we, if if I if we keep rolling like shit, we're not going to be able to hit. I him don't know what rolling anyway. means, but but you got to shoot him non-lethally. <laughs> Fine, I'll shoot him non-lethally. All right, don't follow. forget to target him. I'll just subtract a minus two. It is not an MAP. Do I just roll strike plus five? Yeah, it's not an MAP. Just strike whatever you have. Yeah. Okay. Come on, come on. That's Ooh. what I'm talking about. That's an 18. That hits. <laughs> nice. Damage. That's free. Okay. Today I learned both suck again. <laughs> okay. One more and action. And for my final action, I'll reload. Sounds like a plan. Reload for me, and that's your turn. Cass, go ahead and roll me. You're stable. You're good. What do you I'm think? Stable. What are you? Yep. What are you dreaming of, Cass? What are you thinking of? Yeah, you know, I'm thinking of uh, beating his face in the Dolan. He's a he's a bastard. Well, where are you going, Cass? What? Where are you going? You're what? you're stable. You're not you're not conscious though. No, no, no. I, I, I'm moving. Oh, I I just saw you move. It's all good. Go back. Or right. well, I'll put uh, I'll put you back. It's all good. I just yeah, I just yeah, saw no, you. Yeah, yeah. You're dreaming of beating Dolan's yeah. face in. <laughs> Bolin won't have any of it, though. He's going yeah. to use an action to open up a window. Roll me an attack of opportunity. This is a manipulate trait, help me. If you want a non-lethal, you can... Yep, that's going to be minus two. Uh, and yes, I will be using that attack. Box. As he reaches towards the zip line as he tries to escape. Uh, circumstance. Kill him! Roll. No, no specifically don't! That's... All right, I added in the minus two there. Yep, roll so... me damage. Got this. Come on. Bolin. <laughs> well, no. 
See, this is what I was talking about. We could have killed him so much. We'll time. step through the window and just zip line to the water tank area. Um, hmm. He is still visible. I'm going to give him a little bit of cover. Um, let me just double check. He's going to use his third action to start pulling up the winch for the elevator. Yes? As he's trying to get away. Help me. Pablo. Yes, hold on. Is there a button to cry? Uh, it's a free <laughs> action. Help me. Gotcha. Uh, the zip line looks easy for Bolin, not for you. This is going to require a check. Reminder, it's a 50-foot fall if you critically fail this check. Um, just a heads up. Uh, which is 25 points of damage, which will, you know, most certainly knock you unconscious if not dead. Let me double check the check here. Double checking the check as I do. Uh, would you, are you, I'm assuming you're following then? Uh, can I see him from here? You can. He has and, lesser uh, cover or he standard cover. Uh, he would have 30, he's 30 feet away from you. Okay, so that would be three ranging from attack for a thrown dagger. So... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and follow him. All right, I make bad choices. You need to hold on, hold on. <laughs> let, let me double check. Um, this is a no. Sorry, that's not the one. This is not. It's just a failure effect. Failure will fall. All right, on this, not a critical mm -hmm. failure. Well, here goes nothing. Nice. nice. Go ahead and zip line right after him. Uh, it would be two actions to basically get on the zip line and get here. You will have one more action. Left. I'll move him a little bit just so you can get you. You can be in the same. Uh, did you? Uh, where's your token? There we go. I'll move you That's for right. now. Yep. Zip Aroni. You had a free hand. I'm assuming. To zip. Uh, I would have dropped the shield. Drop the shield. That's good. All right. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and. Uh... I'll take a, another non-lethal swing mm -hmm. at him. You got this. Get your hair points ready, folks. <laughs> Can't wait to die. Oh, shit. I... Hero, uh, does anyone want a spare hero point? I'll re-roll it. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. <gasps> no, what? No. Oh, oh, no. Can I give one? No, you can only no, re roll. Re -roll. Anyway, so. uh, All right. Okay. Jarden. Jarden is going to squat down, take his last remaining healing potion out, and pour it in Cass's gullet. Okay, so that's two uh, actions. Ten. Go ahead and uh, roll the healing potion for me, Jarden. Please just click on use. I thought if it was in our pouch, it wasn't two actions. For other me. people, it will be. For yourself, it's one. For other people, it's... Mm. Uh, check my homebrew rules. Uh, no, 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 you're yeah, fine. Yeah. You, I believe you. You're all good. Don't make me do homework. <laughs> Where do you... I don't <laughs> see a use. It's in the uh, inventory and in sheet. If you like, click yeah, on I them to expand the... them. Yeah, I see it. And but, click uh, on Elixir of uh, Life. Click, click on, on yeah, click on Use Elixir of Life. Perfect. <gasps> I'm here. I'm, I'm ready. Where is he? Hmm. That's one more action left, Jarden. Uh, I will Good step wrong. over and um, uh, just wait for people to run out the window, and then I'll uh. Assist if possible. Perfect. I'll run. Yeah. All yeah. good. Thank you, Onovan. Are you giving the Are you giving the help action on the on the zip wire? Is that what you're saying? Do you want to do that? Is that how it works? I mean, I'm not sure. Well, yeah. Because I moved, I can't really use the aid that was. Uh, I say. Got you. Got you. Got you. Onovan. Fucking hell! I don't know. Uh. Onovan's gonna. I can't even get there, can I? Because it's difficult to It is. So oh, yeah, way. yeah. It, it, keep that in mind, guys. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yep. Cry. His loss is going to take one action to get onto the zip wire. I can't move. Uh, I'll move you. Across. It's going to be two actions. One to get here and the other one to uh, on jump the, on the zip wire. Yeah. It, roll me that athletics check. You can scroll up or just roll it. <laughs> okay. 
come on, please. Please, just do good. Oh, oh my oh. god. Oh, oh, okay. It's good not job, a Islas. high DC to zip down. It's just a failure really sucks. But, um, mm-hmm. yeah, Islas will zip her own-y. And then, uh, does Islas have any more movement after with that? Or is no, it just that, gets that to would the... be That would okay. be as far as they can get with two actions, yeah. So... That was two from me. Uh, as as Islas does that, I'm going to use my boost Eidolon thingy, Majiga Bubba. Before he moves, that's fine, you know? Well, it, it's a limit. It's oh, it's a limit. Okay, yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad, yeah, yeah. Come on. She, she's got this. She's got this, folks. It's fine. Non-lethally, try and swat at this. I annoying. stopped the music because I, I, I feel it. It's going to be it. It's going to be it. I've added the uh, minus two. Mm-hmm. One, okay. Mm-hmm. Kill him! It's going to be when you roll a hero point, right? Uh, no point, hero right. point. <laughs> are, are you spending it, Joy? Sure. Yeah, I'll do it. Thank you. Thank you. Because I've already got one left and I might die here, so that's great. That's great. Uh, I, I, I re roll. Just roll and keep in your result, please, and subtract your hero point manually. Come on! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Roll me damage. And yeah, subtract the hero point. Oh, you, Grim, you did. That is. Yeah. That is. Ah! That is done. He is unconscious. <gasps> and that is the battle. Wow, well, I've got it. Uh, don't you Good worry job. back there. It, it's fine over here. Oh, His last calls out. Well done. Level up to level two. Yay! Yay! How uh, the fuck do we do that? Mm, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I will allow you to lo- this after this. There's not going to be much combat, so I'll allow you full rest as well as you do this. All right. Um, so, <gasps> Slay. um, I think the best way to do this is firstly go to your character sheets where it says one on the top right. Change that to a number two. Yes. Then checking your path builders. Right. You have all your feats and whatnot and all that set up. Go ahead and um Can we path munch it? No, we're not gonna don't path munch it, it's gonna break stuff. Okay, don't path yeah. munch. Yeah. Go to um so for example, Onovan, if you go to the feats tab, you scroll down, you see class feats, empty slot, right? Architect Add feats, that. empty Got slot. It. Click on the magnifying glass on the right. Yeah. Find your thing that you did in Path Builder, drag it and drop it onto class feats and skill feats and archetype feats. Um, I think we're not doing gradual build boost here, so that's all you get. But it's plenty. It's plenty. Um, we're gonna Sick. we're gonna spend a few minutes leveling up. I'm actually gonna take a break. Might as well. I don't. I might as well use that time to go and have some lunch yep. or something. So what I would like for you to do is level up. Uh, I think um, Trey, all you need is a. Uh, to change it to change it to two and you should be good yeah, yeah i'm already yeah, done yeah. and if anyone needs any help i can absolutely help i'm, too. I'm gonna step out for 20 ish minutes so um yep. i might be able to talk maybe we'll see but try if you can help each other that'd be great i'll be back yeah see you in a bit yep come on pablo stream hello pablo stream oh no oh Yes, no, Pablo Stream, can you do it? Well, they're back. Uh, just take my word for it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, so I have moved Bolin and Islos and Helmy back just for ease. Uh, you know, if you really want to role play going around the entire area, I'm bringing them back. You certainly can. Uh, but are we yeah, supposed to be worth full noting hip- that? Sorry. Uh, when we knocked Bolin out. Or when Islas did, Helmy would have uh, howled in joy. Uh, you know, probably smacked her uh, bastard sword to her armor, and possibly have attempted to kiss his loads. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, to clarify, Islas is a giant plant creature. I gathered. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Howdy there, partner. Uh, Nice to meet you. Uh, maybe we could just uh, shake hands for now. Um, Do you speak? Ah, of course I'll speak. Why, why wouldn't I be able to speak? I don't know. I've never met one of you before, I think. Well, well I've never had the pleasure of meeting one of you before, but uh, might have fine day to you, and uh, thank you for your help with this uh, this bowl in here. Now, 
I, I don't know uh, if you want to wait to do the pleasantries with the uh, other lot over there, but um, if you, you know, you're feeling uh, so inclined, I would like to know uh, who you are, why you're here, and, uh, well, not want to look a gift horse in the mouth or a gift uh, many-eyed person. Let's just not talk but, about horses, shall we? Uh, sure. The, the, redder's less, the less said about those, the better. But um, why, why are you helping us out? Because I got the uh, the, do the note from the nice doctor who uh, said that he was going to explain what the missing moment was all about. But it took me a while to get here all the way from the land of the Linoam Kings. Oh, you're uh, one of... The are you one of... And then Islos like turns and shows you the, the summoner symbol, but it's also actually the, uh, the symbol of the gate on the back of their neck. Tell me, where's your symbol? Just a heads up, the player's guide mentioned you had a symbol marked on your skin, normally in the back of your neck, but it could be anywhere else. Uh, yeah, probably the back of the neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at first I just thought this was another eye, but it turns out that it was something entirely weird. Uh, I don't know if having another eye on your the back of your neck would be uncomfortable for you, or if you feel some sense of loss for it not being one, but, uh, Welcome to the group, I, I, I suppose, then. Well, thank you. Uh, just, and, uh, sorry, super sorry. Was. Just for narrative's sake, you guys are carrying the body around while you're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry, sorry. Naturally. For sure. Oh, we should probably do something about uh, those folks, uh, Isla says, pointing to the hostages, uh, uh, the gnome hostages, as we carry the body. Maybe uh, get the others first, though. Uh, should we go back into the room, or uh, did you want to... I don't know. Yeah, and uh, while I'm there, if you could tell me, just in case, are there any of them that I'm supposed to, you know, kill or punch to? Uh, no, don't hurt the hostages. You hear uh, Onovan, Miff and Bip call from the uh, room. Is Islas, are you okay? They, they've not gone on a mad rampage and tried to attack you too. No, uh, they seem pretty fine. Uh, you are fine, right? You're not gonna try and kill us all. Uh, no, I assume y'all are my buds, though, to be honest, I'm, I'm a little new to this part of the world. I don't really know what all of you are. I don't know what you are. I don't know what your buddy Onovan is. And was that a Linorm in there that almost got killed? A what? You know, we've got them back home, the Linorm, the, you know, giant, the kind of dragon-ish. I don't really know what your buddy on the floor is who almost got killed, but, uh, Oh, Cass! Oh, come meet them if they're, if they're alive. I, I don't know what happened over there. Uh, <laughs> and let's go and see. And you guys I'm, I'm alive. alive. Yeah. I don't think there's much left of the sunflower. The sunflower has exploded. Yeah. He's just a bunch of... No, man! He seemed cool. I wanted to save him. He had good motivation. Okay, I'll just tie this guy then. <laughs> good motivation. <laughs> yeah, you know, he just wanted to be cool, I guess. So as you guys reconvene in the room, um, you are welcome to wake up Bolin at any point in time to interrogate no. him. If, if you want to talk to him after binding and gagging or whatever you want to do with him. If you want to ask him stuff. I don't know what else you want to ask him. He did give you quite a bit of information, but it's up to you guys. Yes, yes. I think we should help the hostages, make sure they're okay, get this place sorted. And um, I agree. Let uh, Leona figure uh, deal with this. Uh, Lemmer or Leona? Who, who's Leona? Lemmer. Yeah, sorry. Right. That's no, no, no. It's good. I was just wanting to make sure. But yes. Um, I, I, I wanted to give Bolin a chance at first. Uh, tell me, uh, Bolin was a. I'm assuming you've introduced your name at this point. I think it, it actually did already, but I can't remember. Sorry. Is that right, Troy? Probably. Oh, but, nice. Uh, Oh, stars, where are my manners? Uh, my name is Helmi Orava. It's nice to meet you all. Uh, top of the morning to you. Yeah, well, I actually don't know if, what time of day it is, but uh, I'm Onovan Miffinbip, or Onovan for short, or Ono for short, or O for short. You can describe and, your uh, character if you'd like as well. I got... Well, you can... They can see me, yeah. but yes, this is my character. They have pink hair and green eyes and... Uh, are wearing like a gardener's outfit and below a bunch of um best in bloom rose uh what are they called rosettes on the on the um chest um you see like a sort of faded battle medal 
uh, just beneath one of them as well. Um, that seems to be covered by these newer Best in Bloom sort of awards. And uh, this is my praise plant, the Best in Bloom is lost. Uh, we went into the portal together. Uh, well, they were just a plant in a plant pot then, and when I came out, they were... Uh, well, they, they'd really bloomed, let's see. Oh, we've uh -huh. met. Did you know she talks? Wait, you met before? Oh, no, where, we where was when, this? We met when we almost killed, but didn't, even though I kind of wanted to, that bowlet guy. Oh, that's right. We uh, met over the, the uh, zip wire on of a myth and bib. It, it, it's all right. All right, okay, good. Well, it, it's nice to have you um, help me. I, I don't know which eye to look in. Oh, whichever makes you more comfortable. And don't mind if my hair starts to fly off. It does that. All right. Uh, Grim, I, I think you've got competition for the, the one that confuses me the most now. Uh, Grim, as you step up, describe your character for me, if you would be so kind as well. Grim is six foot five. Um, he's got basically just, what, what? <laughs> so damn tall. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he's a tall guy. He's lanky. Uh, he's got uh, black armor all over him with some chainmail coming uh, under this sort of cloak he's got on. He's wearing like a sort of crow or a, a, just a white mask with a big beak on it with two lenses that you can't really see through too well. Uh, he's got on his legs plated armor with some spurs on the end and a shield. Like you can see, and uh, yeah, that's him. What what sort of person are you, Grim? Are you half giant? Was your dad a real brave man? <laughs> I'm just very tall. You're a bit lanky, though. We we should get some meat on those bones, shouldn't we, Grim? <laughs> <laughs> that's a hero point bonus. So yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I almost choked on my drink there. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I am good. I don't need too much food right now. Oh, that's sad. Still not seeing you eat. It's very strange. Uh, oh, uh, th that's Cass. Uh, Cass, are you a... What did you call them, Helmy? Yeah, I'm a are lizard you a folk. Are you a lizard lizard folk. What's a, a lizard folk? folk? That's a, a lizard that gained legs. Really? Yeah. I thought all lizards had legs. No, 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 that's only <laughs> lizard folk. Well, it's I mean, you need too cold for us to get lizards up where I'm from, so I've never yeah. met one before. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lizard folk. I am a, very good. I'm, I can recite the old battles and the combat to rile yep. you up and make you better at swinging your weapon. And, uh, oh, so you're like a lore teller. I was yeah. ready for a second you were a witch. <laughs> of course not, of course not. I only tell old stories. And that makes you really happy. And, you know, I can do a bit of magic on the side, you know, heal a few wounds and what have you. Oh, we like healers. It's just, you know, the uh, irisani witches that we don't like much up in the open lands. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, you can never trust a witch now, can you? You don't know where they've been. You know, you gotta trust a good old shaman. I don't know what a shaman is, but I'll take your word for it. It's the old lady who lives at the hut next to you that casts weird spells. Oh, I killed her. That sounds like a witch. No, oh, hey, hey, no, it's not. It's a shaman. A very different thing. She, like, you know, like, like, look, I'm a witch. You know, she has like a, she has like a black cat. You know, and a shaman. You know, talks with a, talks with animals. So, are there like, multiple of these ladies, or like? Well, there's one in every village. You know. Right. I even, I even built a hut for one once. Right, and, and moving to the more um, normal, although it's still not that... Well, I don't know. Uh, we've got uh, Jardin here as well. You can describe your character for me as well, Jardin, please. Uh, sure. Uh, so walking over, uh, helping Cass up off, up off the ground after administering the, the potion, uh, you see uh, uh, not quite as tall as Grim, about 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, six, um, his face is very angry. Angular might remind you of maybe an elf, but um, he uh, speaks and walks human. Uh, he's wearing a wreath around his head. Um, <laughs> uh, to uh, well, he's just wearing a wearing a wreath around his head for right for right now. Um, carries a staff 
and uh, he walks, he, he looks up at you and he goes, uh, uh, yes, I'm, I'm Jordan. Uh, I, uh, I weave both melee or uh, martial and magic together, uh, aiding my allies and dominating our foes with uh, precision strikes. And how would you describe your character's voice? Is it kind of deep like yours, or is it a little bit more high pitched, or is it? Uh... Uh, it's it's fairly deep, like like mine. Okay, so that will cue Helmy into the fact that you're an unusually pretty to her eyes boy, rather than what she assumed a tall girl. Uh, having uh, never correct. seen a half elf before. Wow. Though he's doing his best to not show that he's a half elf because elves are not allowed in this area. So you're like uh, you're like Thara Ash Eyes then. Wow, that's real impressive. Ash Eyes. Yeah, she's the newest Lenorm king. Uh, her father was the famous Blood Eagle himself. Uh, she managed to uh, defy everyone and become a Lenorm king because she knew how to use magic with her weapon. Like you do, I assume. But yes, Excellent, I can see yes. Jordan, are you royalty? Yeah, well, you should have told us. He's been are keeping that one a secret. <laughs> no, by, not by any means. My, my father's a baker, my uh, mother's a tavern worker. That's what they all, all right. say. Well, we've got no secrets here. Uh, <laughs> everything you see, what you see is what you get. There's no secrets between us, so. Yeah, yeah, I would never tell a lie. Um, oh, look, your hair does fly. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty hard to hide something from me because I do see a whole lot. Do you have more eyes than just those? Oh, thank Desna, no. But uh, I got to tell you, when I was born, I just had the two. But then when I hit puberty, they started sprouting in, and I thought it was acne. But then I started That's amazing. Out if you can right. see out of it, it's not acne. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of going quotes. Do it, do it. <laughs> do it. Quote it. it. Give the context a little bit too, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I come from a pretty small town. You might have noticed it's really more of a whaling village. Uh, mostly our primary export, as far as I can tell, are assholes. Uh, the men, they. Oh, raid. no. The women, they help the men raid and mostly clean up their messes. Women in my town weren't really allowed to do that much, which, considering there are already two other Lenorm kings who are ladies, seemed like some real bullshit to me. And then things got real weird when, you know, I started to hit the change, and instead of, you know, growing some tits, I grew some extra eyes and my hair started flying away. So that was weird. <laughs> uh, so I learned how to fight pretty well, and uh, now I'm here joining you guys. So Race. do you see more with the eyes? Or are they just normal eyes? Well, I can see out of them, and I think I can see in the dark pretty good, too. I don't know if that's because my great-grandma what had her way with an angel or not. Or, but... So you can't see through walls or anything? Like that. Well, not unless there's a window. I mean, technically, if it, there's a window, it's not the wall anymore, but I see what you mean. Is that how it goes? I'm sorry, I'm not one of them fancy, you know... So, you know, boys. usually when there's a window, you make, like, a hole in the wall and then put the window in, so that's... Does that, does that take away from its inherent wallness? And Grim spent most of their time out in Studying the woods somewhere. I, <laughs> I I don't know that they're an expert on it either, so don't yeah, worry I, about it. I live in the forest, so I don't think I can come into it. Or I guess I used to live... Yeah, our I main personality. Oh, sorry, go on. Go on, go on. I can attest attest to that. Um, we came out of our gates looking at each other, myself and Grim. Yes, uh, th those two are you know together. So um, <laughs> uh, it's quite are you nice. In love? Platonically. Oh, that's. Wait, not what? Not... Strictly You're friends. Joke. Yeah. You know, you th I was rooting for both of you. I don't feel love. That's sad. I, You're sad. I'm heartbroken in your behalf. But... Jordan, I'm so sorry. I Oh. Like on even goes to just give Jordan a hug, like to comfort you in this in this sad traumatic time, even though you're probably fine. Uh Jordan will uh uh pat him on his head and just give a quizzical look to uh uh Joy. 
I just bless you, <laughs> bless you both. But look, time time mends all wounds. That's what I say. And if not time, then you know, um, a bit of string often helps plants. So uh, maybe we can see what we can do down the road. Uh, anyway, shall we? Uh, it feels yes? like this impacted you more than it impacted us. Are you okay? Do we? Do you need to talk? It, it maybe just hasn't hit you yet. Look. It, might take a while, but I'll be there for when it does, okay? You can count on me. Or, or is loss. Uh, right. Together, the best in bloom will grow. I'm stronger we'll and better for it. That, you just, the best in bloom will bloom. The, right, exactly. Is that our uh, name? All the best raiding parties have names. Yeah, uh, I think that's our name. We've kind of adopted it from Onovan's past. I think it became one, yeah. I, they were sort of interrogating me about if I was actually on my way in the portal to go to a Best in Bloom show, which I don't know why you think that, that's so weird. It's, why wouldn't you want to be the Best in Bloom? <laughs> like, what else is there in life? Um, no, please tell me, let me know before the bleaching happens. But, um, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I, I think for now, though, we should help out these folk, these hostages, and, uh, Maybe have a look at what these feckers here, this Delphon and Bolin, uh, had in their pockets and see if that can help us with anything. And mm -hmm. uh, Islos, get to tying up with Bolin with some vines or something, would you? Go ahead and um, do me a favor and start looting. Uh, there's a cabinet. There's some shelves. There is Bolin. You can double click on him. Hopefully he's lootable. You can get that staff of off, off of him. Um which at the very least is a rune that you can mm. transfer with a blacksmith. Mm -hmm. Um, There are also, I think Delphon has some acid flasks on him that are useful. And if you want to you loot don't. the mundane stuff, then... Can I have the leaf mask? Yeah. Oh man, I was going to ask. <laughs> oh, if you want it, that's fine. No, you I can mean, they, both of them have one, so you can have um, whichever one you want, and I'll take the other one. Okay, I'll take Delphons and you one can... One is an oak leaf mask, <laughs> one is just a normal leaf mask. Oh, okay. I'll take the oak... Wait, the, I assume... Delphon has the oak leaf, has... you go for it. Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. Now, while we're looting these guys, can somebody explain the rules of this land to me? I wasn't paying much attention. Are we... Uh, Kill or be killed. Hostages? Are we being heroes and rescuing them, or are we here raiding and selling them for ransom? Both. Eh, in the context, it's lawfully selling them for ransom if you want to be, like, super um, cutthroat about it. But uh, we had a job from Lemmer, who was a sort of middle-ranking to high-ranking magistrate. We never got an answer on that, really. And um, we've found that, uh, basically, uh, we kind of did a few crimes and had to hear our names. names. It was just, um, Jordan's fault. Don't worry about it. And, and um, anyway, now. Uh, Every plant-based material into something that would attack all living things and take over any sort of humanoid uh, civilization and wipe it from the face of, of um, well, the earth. So, Galarian. yes. Galarian. Mm. Sure, but earth is in ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beep it down. That's a good um, quote. <laughs> Sure. Earth is in ground. Um, uh, but yes, uh, from Galarian, so... Um, you know, I am... Um, I think we don't kill them. I think they're fine. We well, can... we're never going to kill them, but we might have, you know, wanted to sell them. Oh, we were talking about Delphin and Bolin, not the, the most... No, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, uh, Bolin, we're basically taking back to face justice and get paid for it. Oh, so, excellent. Uh, Delphin's dead. He's not. Oh. Uh, he's not dead. I punched him in the jaw. But oh, you did! I oh, mean, good you on do you. punch quite hard, so you don't know. Well, maybe we'll get a bonus if we take them both. Uh, I quite like yeah. bonuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably yeah. like a second in command. You know, that's usually like a... That's, you know, 50% bonus. I think that's you know, fair. we could go deal with the hostages and I'll leave Reaper in the room for if they'd wake up. 
the hostages live here, though, so um, we'll just be helping those, I think. Don't forget maybe, to move uh, shelves and cabinets. Sorry to interrupt, but yeah. Maybe I should go help the hostages, seeing, you know, I'm a gnome and they're gnomes, and I'm sure there's some kinship there. I'll take one healing potion. Two more. What's this thing called? Shiver. <laughs> what shiver? <laughs> Jarjan, why don't you take the other potion, uh, seeing as, you know, you've just used yours and I, I, you don't have I that much. I would drink that if I were you. Um, okay, yeah, I can take yeah, the other uh, I need, Ottoman, actually, you would automatically know what shiver is when they mention what shiver Ooh. is. It's a very, very, it's a hallucinogenic. Well, you know, it's, it's the, the, the post is there, but it's a black market drug um, that oh you my. probably don't want to take. Well, you, Why would Donovan know what it is? Uh, I'm assuming, actually, you have nature proficiency, yes? And, yeah, yeah. And, you know. I'm medicine. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, anybody with nature proficiency, sure. I'm just going to give it, give it, give them to you. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay. In that case, I know. Yeah, I yeah, know. sorry. Yeah. Anybody with I thought you were just painting Donovan as like a... <laughs> no, no. I, I, I was like... <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, giving automatic invest, er, in, uh, identification to people who have nature proficiency. Got you, got and you, you. Are, you are, you're the nature guy so anyway but also grim yes go for it so jordan picks up bowl and staff and say hey this is this is kind of kind of fancy you guys uh mind if i take this you go right ahead not at all you're my hero out of insight mine <laughs> you see what seemed to be a dozen bound up most of them awake by the noise now gnomes um they're gagged bound and <laughs> It's okay. We've we've uh, got Bolin and Delphon sorted. We'll, we'll get you untied, but please don't attack us or anything. Mm. We've been through a lot, and we just want to help you. Mm. Um, Islos, come come and help me sort these people out. Yeah. Do you start uh, my... ungagging un and unbinding the notes? Yeah, and uh, Onovan's gonna be like, "My name's Onovan. I'm from Bearpaim." A gardener, but we came here from, and then just talk about like why they're here and try and be honest. Thank with them. you so much. Um, this this guy just came in and invaded our home, captured all of us, killed half the others. It was horrible, horrible. I tell you, it's terrible. Yeah. We we even heard of them fixing to burn the place down, but we stopped that. So oh, that um, would have been horrible. We would have all died. That would have that would have been so bad. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we stopped that. Uh, but uh, look, uh, this place is a mess. Are, are you sure you're safe out here? We were talking before to um, a unicorn, or, or trying to, by the name of um, Elisa. But, oh, is she okay? Uh, well, they tried to use her for a dog ritual. It was uh, rather bad. It's horrible. But we, we stopped that too. Do you normally get home with Elisa? Can you help each other yeah, yeah, she's... get back to strength, or would you like to come back with us to Seven Arches? No, she's super chill. No, we live here. We're going to, we're going to, is this home taken care of? Is every room cleared? Oh, sorry. The probably just said, "Is this home? Is is our home safe?" Uh, not a not a fucking clue. But we we've done the best we can. I've not been in that room, for example. He says, pointing to the room behind. Oh, oh, I see. Um, well then, uh, <coughs> roll me a secret perception check, Grim. What's in there, folks? There's a bathroom. I am about to find out. <laughs> bathroom. Okay. Well, a did you see anyone go in there recently? They, I mean, um, they would, they, they, I think they like, uh, they, they were, they were avoiding that place for some reason. I don't know why. There are plenty of good reasons to avoid a bathroom. <laughs> Grim, it seems clear for now. Can I open the door? You open the door. A trap will spray. Oh, oh my no. God. Go into the bathroom, boys. <laughs> See you in hell. Are we fully healed or did we just have the you're, long you're, rest, which is like four fine. hit points? I, I wouldn't have fucked with you if this was, you know, if this you were about to die. Regardless, I need you to click on this as poison will puff in your face. Uh, you can click. Hey, that's handy. You can click on this. Uh, you can use the um, whatever thing you get for poison. Click on the toggle. Um, wait, I get. Oh, right. Because I'm oh. human. Yes. Are we at full hit points? Huh? Yeah, you should be full hit points. That's fine. Don't worry okay. about it. 
You should. I'm human. You should have a human toggle. That is not good. Yes, uh, you will. There's nothing in there, guys. It says you basic un, uh, human benefits. As you start uh -huh. be, uh, falling into poison damage, this is not good though. As you will take. Oh god, let me just reveal this trap and reveal this damage. 50 damage. You'll take 3 damage and you are now poisoned. Now, um, this is a uh, stage poison. It's gonna last 6 rounds, Graham. And it's a good introduction to poison for those of us new to Pathfinder. Yes? Yes, that's why I did it. Um, I need you to roll me another fortitude save, Graham. Okay, one second. I'm just looking up archives of Nectro. Okay, uh... Where do I roll it? Just a fortitude Just save? Just hit the button that I linked earlier. Just scroll up in chat. Hit that button. Okay. I'll do there was a reason they avoided that. I guess that's what it was. Um, oh, God. You will succeed and you're no longer poison. So that's fine. Uh, if you had failed, it would have just kept po increasing in stages. Um, mm -hmm. Doing poison damage for six rounds continuously. All right. Um, the overall... Um, <laughs> Overall thing is you need people to help you. So poison and pathfinder is pretty fucking deadly because you need yep. you need to have people help you That's out. You gotta keep yeah. you got yeah you gotta keep rolling deaths or fortitude saves and stuff. But you know uh, it's absolutely fine. You are no longer poisoned as you brush it off and you succeeded by just the amount. You succeeded on a seventeen and it's because your human form withstands a lot of poison. Joy, yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm human. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, um, that is that. That's the uh, poison. So it sprays a little bit. You take a little damage, and you're fine. What do you do, Graham? Well, um, uh, I suppose now we know what's behind this door. Are you okay? I'm gonna close it. I'm that looks like a puff of poison. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> now? <laughs> did, no. Uh, did, oh, did your mask help you? Does it sort of filter out things? Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I'm working on a name for it. I've been developing it for a while. I'm thinking a Raven of mask. It. Gosh, yeah, a, a breathing mask or something similar. Or uh, right, you know. No, that's fabulous. Well, I'm glad your mask keeps on helping you, even though I've not seen your face yet. Uh, one oh, uh, day, but I, I understand why you wear it constantly now. Yeah, it's very dangerous around these parts, apparently. Yeah, you never know when poison might be blasted into your face. One of the other gnomes will... Um, as, oh, right, sorry. Um, as you untie the other gnomes, um, uh, uh, mouth will say, Watch out for that door, it's got poison in it. Wow! Real helpful, buddy. <laughs> Look, they've been through a lot. Um, they've been through a lot. Uh, you guys will, little by little, start untying and or ungagging the gnomes they'll be great very very grateful one of them will run into the back into this chest and be like you know thank you for saving us got a little something something for you yeah if that's okay oh that's fine oh, thank I, you very kind of you yeah yeah very kind it's money wait what is it money uh no it's a it's a little just a just a small um, just gesture of thanks. Let me find it. Oh, well, that's, oh, that's also appreciated. Let me see what it is. Give me a second. Uh, this is an additional treasure. Oh, look at that. Yeah, perfect. I don't think we have this. I'm going to put this in the loot. This loot this chest. Loot me, please. And I'm going to... just It's identified because, you know... Uh, 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 You're kind, GM. Uh, yeah, look at that. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Sick. Just a little, little something for you. Um, thank you for saving us in our home. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. very nice of you. No, it's very nice of you. It's extremely nice. Um, you know what? Wait, just so for what just for fun, Onovan, can you roll me a retroactive deception check, please? Ah, oh, for fucks. Ah, uh, sure. Hey. Oh well, he was gonna say that's that's um. Thank you so much for um not allowing those guys to burn us down while we were in here. Yeah. You're very welcome. Yeah, no worries about that. Uh, the, I mean these eco terrorists. You got to watch out for them. Horrible. 
what 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 is this new gnome commune you've got here though? Like oh, we live here. We have any... we have a nice tidy workshop. We build carpentry stuff. We uh we have a bunch of expensive tools there. We have a nice little water tank that feeds us and you know is totally full and not broken. Um, we have. Do you give like presents to children during the winter solstice or something? Why? Why would we do that? No, we just live here. <laughs> Oh, I just workshop. No, nothing. A story I heard once. Doesn't matter. Um, we, we make all sorts of alchemical supplies down here. Um, oh, interesting. Um, yeah. It's it's just our home, so lovely little home. Until the eco-terrorists invaded. Oh, I'm so sorry yeah. about this. You all hit them eco-terrorists. A bunch of bad apples. Um... What are you guys doing with this? Is going to go back and check on, yeah, I was about to say, mm. and pull them back into the room. Uh, like, you know what? I'm just going to get them over roll, here. Roll here. How strong does, um, okay. how strong does Helmy look? Uh, are they pretty buff? Uh, yeah, it's up to Helmy. Uh, short, but pretty muscular. Sweet. It looks like, uh, you and I will be probably carrying these, uh, not so fine folk back to uh, the Seven Arches, if that's okay with you, Helmy. It's not the first time I carried some assholes out. My poor father, God rest his soul, I would carry his drunk ass out from the tavern at least once or twice a month. Oh, I, I'm sorry to hear that. That's, I'm pretty sad. Oh, that's okay. He got uh, thrown from the back of his horse. They're oh. all for the animals, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. So, ah, that's why I didn't want to speak about horses. I, I see. Yeah, I the heard number the three cause of death them. among golden men. Number two oh. being the sea, and number one being ill-planned duels. <laughs> yeah, I've I've seen a couple of people die from duels before, but you know. All right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just force you guys to take stuff. Come on, loot me, please. Shelves, go take it. Take Fine, it. Fine. I just don't want to be stingy. Uh, I'll take an antidote. Why not? I'll take the oil. Hey, that antidote could have helped uh, if you had it 30 seconds ago. Girl. But I, no, <laughs> I I'm wouldn't have been able to take, to use it anyway, because I was stuck in rolling. Cast, do you want the brochure for shielding? You, you would have six seconds uh, yeah, to yeah, drink yeah, between. Yeah. yeah. You would have had six yeah, seconds. Yeah, I'll take that. Thanks for, thanks for it. Because I feel like you're... You did almost get killed there. Yeah. I feel like you're in the thick of it enough that it's probably gonna. Any sort of defensive thing we can get to you is probably good. I, I'm, uh, I'm very, very good. Yeah, I just, yeah, hard to avoid those damn magic missiles. I, I should know for myself. Okay. Right, let's uh, tell you what, let's go get out of here, go back to Seven Arches. Uh, gnomes, if you need us at all, you can find us there. Anything we need to know, any deep lore or hidden secrets we should know about before we uh, set off? They just look at each other. Um, are our plants okay? Ah, the leshies, yes. Um, I forgot their names. Uh, it was like sunshine and lollipop, wasn't it? It's hyacinth and wisteria and yeah, oh, those right. ones. Oh yeah, yeah, they're, 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 they're fine. They're well. okay. Yeah. What about that sunflower one? What exploded? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh no, the sunflower is gone. Oh, oh, he was kind of a jerk anyway. Like when we came, he just betrayed us for Bolin. It was, it was, it was pretty mean. He like he. I don't know. He it felt like he had fair motivation. He bought into Bolin's, you know. I mean, I didn't. We didn't hear much, but it was something about plants taking over, or something. Uh, to me, he often, seemed pretty cool. Uh, don't tell his loss, but plants often buy into bullshit. It's a fertilizer thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. Um, no, no hidden lore. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna meet with, um, our papa later. Um, but, you know, that's for another adventure. That sounds kind of suspicious. Who's this papa person you're talking about? Let me diplomacy, Graham. Yeah, anything you can do to help us get information out here. We're a bit uh, stuck. Can I help? Or is it... Um... I'm just checking. Can I use intimidation instead of diplomacy? Mm, unless if you want to scare him. I mean, I am pretty scary as is. I don't think I'd be trying to scare them. No, you have to do diplomacy. Sorry, bud. Okay. Sorry. No, fair enough. 
Can I help? All good. Um, you know, um, okay. Papa Claus, he's the biggest, fattest gnome of us all. I'm gonna jump out this window. Now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was gonna oh, make a pun earlier. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I was looking for claws and I was gonna say Santa Claus. What? Because they were too sharp. Get it? Oh, uh, wow. Okay, yeah. We should get out of here before we start taking psychic damage. Um, right. I was, um, it was nice to, to meet you all, but, uh, yeah, if you need us, uh, message Lemmer in Seven Arches. I'm sure they'll be able to get something to, uh, to us eventually. We'll recover and regrow. Not in a plant sort of way, though. Just more like a commune sort of way. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah whatever works. And with that. Right. The party. With Bolin still unconscious in the back of maybe Helmy and carried by help by Islos or one or the other. It's a big deal how you're carrying them. Will be They're tied up. Will be taken to seven arches. Now I have a question. Do you guys want to slow this travel back or do you want to just wave it? Um it's it's up to you. We can spend two days traveling, role playing. It's role play essentially. What out you know what? Yeah, let me know, firstly. I like role play. You like role play? Me too, actually. Tell you what. Tell you what. We need to get no hell. One night. Hmm. One night gets no hell me. I think that's. We'll, a... we'll need to get to no hell me anyway. So what we'll do is we're gonna pseudo um, fast forward pseudo role play. What I'm gonna do is on the travel back. It's gonna take two days from the Wildwood. Um, you guys go past the. Um, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, yes, Joy. Actually, let's do a thing. Uh uh. Let's do a mm -mm. thing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, actually, we're, we're all dead. No, <laughs> I gotta find the arch plaza. Did you, what what happened to that druid? Did you let her leave, or did you kill her? The um. Which oh one? no, she, she she got thrown out, she out of a window, window by. Yeah. She, uh, yeah. Yeah. she yeah she yeah. she she's not She's too well. fine. She if the unicorn wants to come and chat, yeah. or the king bear, hold on. There. Maybe we'll people on, NPCs. Hold on, hold on. One, one, one thing at a time. Hold on. All right, let's find... The Groundhog. Let's find... Yeah, the... <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Roll me... Uh, uh, we'll see who, who gets to do their thing first. I'll be ready. Roll me 1D100. If you want, you know, something. Just for fun. Do it. That's for um, 54 for the bear. 66 for Grimm's thing. Hell me, that's the Groundhog. Cereal, that might be the Unicorn and Jarden. Uh, did you do elks? You guys did elks? Yes. No. Yes, we did, did elks. elks. So it might be. John, only 1d100. See if you get the elks. Fuck it. No, we're going to meet a groundhog on the way back. So, um, as. Because I, I don't know. Fuck it. Why not? As you guys make your way back to Seven Arches, uh, I'm going to rearrange some people here. Gripparius. Uh, 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 help me, you are here. I'm going to pretend Bolin is with you. You see. Uh... The archers are quite small. You see. The arch Have you not been here yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah but okay. I don't know. All right, let me find a good... Um, You know what? This is a good... Ah, perfect. I love this. You see this guy. Chilling. Waiting. Yes. Oh. I don't have a token for him. With the watermark? <laughs> As he's just scurrying around and looks up. All right, hey, Helmy. What's up? Oh, hey, buddy. Thanks for the directions. Yeah. I would have been oh my real lost without him. Yeah, no, bar no worries. Uh, you know, uh, everything's in trouble. Though my friend the gnomes were just like, apparently they, they, weren't, they weren't feeding me for a few days. Are they, are they okay now? Uh, yeah, they are. I, th I think we saved all of them. If we didn't, I actually don't want to know. Don't tell me. Uh, well, there was Jasper and Casper and Milo and Bumpkin. There's a few more. I those, are, those are the four that fed me. Do you see a big fat one named Claus? Was he real? I thought they were joking about him. Santa Claus. Huh? No, he's like their leader. I think he went off on a little trip for a few days. Uh, but anyway, um, no, uh, yeah, dude, uh, happy to see you back. You're alive. Yeah, no, it surprises me sometimes, too. I wasn't expecting otherwise, of course not, but, uh, who are these, your friends? Hello, friends. 
Well, oh, hello there. Hello. Oh, we're you see me and him are family because uh, my my family's names uh, the Arava family were named after the groundhogs they got up there on the uh, land. Hold on, hold on. To be family, you got okay. Fine, we're fine. I mean, just a little too fast there, you know. Is we little... yeah, I think hell me uh, groundhog day. What? Ah. Uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I think uh, Helm is just uh, mighty enthusiastic. They, they try to hug me straight away after the thing, but uh, no, they, they seem pretty swell. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure their family are very proud of them, and uh, it'd be an honor to be their family. So uh, take it as a compliment, I suppose. When I sprouted my extra eyes, my grandpapa tried to hit me with a broom. I'm what? not entirely sure all my family is that proud of me, but I appreciate it. Wow. It... I feel kind of bad now. I feel like an asshole. Hey, listen, listen, <laughs> listen, buddy. We're we're tight, you and I. He'll tr pull up his little little thing for a little fist bump, maybe. Help me, absolutely into it. Hell yeah! All right, well, uh, watch out for uh, the bear whose name I don't quite recall, and the elk whose name I don't quite recall either. They're hanging around here too, potentially. Yeah. I th I think we killed the bear. Did you? <laughs> and the elk died. What? No, nah, man. The family! Oh shit, sorry, help me. Um, I mean, uh, that's horrible. Really? I don't know, man. I, it's been a while. Okay. Um, I'm not, I don't remember. Oh, you know who did I die, age. though? Chuck! Oh, oh no. Yeah. Not Chuck. He's a wolf. Guys, who's Chuck? He's just up ahead. He's a wolf? Yeah. Oh. He got mauled by. Poor little thing. I don't know by what, by like a. God. Maybe one of those other wolf things we were fighting the other Yeah! Day. The shadowy dogs. Uh, I'm sorry those are around. I thought, I thought we dealt with them all. Are there more? No, there's still a lot, a lot of them around. They keep coming out of nowhere. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of terrible. It's kind of scary. Oh, look, I, can take you oh, to I can take you to Chuck's corpse. Just to right. so you can pay your respects. Your respects? Sure. Do, do you know if. The, you? Go ahead. Go ahead, bonus. Do you know if they're anything to do with Kneepo? Kneep? Shh. You don't say that name, or he will find you. <laughs> we kind of want that, but maybe not right now. Is, is Thorin or um, Elisa around? Yeah! Thorin's the bear, yeah. Elisa's yeah. the unicorn. <laughs> the, I'm sure you'll encounter them on the way out of this Wildwood, probably. Right, okay, well. I can't just summon them. I'm not, what am I? God, no. But you know, this is not just. Uh, I mean, a talking groundhog is pretty impressive. I, I wish there were more of you around uh, my garden. I'd be able to tell you to stop bloody digging up my vegetables, but. Uh, look, maybe you can. You got um... a problem, buddy? Yes, hey, but hey, not don't. with you. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, uh, don't. My... Let's not no. be mean to the groundhog. <laughs> oh, you I'm guys not... can hear him talking too? I just thought I <laughs> accidentally drank some of that shiver stuff. Yeah, don't <laughs> worry about it. The, the animals here do that. No. Maybe you can lead us out of here, uh, Groundhog. Sure. Uh, I want to pay respects to uh, Chuck, though. Oh. Sure. We'll, 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 sure. We'll escort yeah, we'll you there. You. What kind of uh, animal was Chuck now? Was his first name Wood? No. Uh, oh, he's just dead. He's here. Nah, they're, they're a wolf, uh, I heard. Gotta move your tokens over here, y'all. Well, no, I make a pretty good wolf stew. Now I really want to play the American, the U.S. anthem on my guitar. <laughs> why? Why the U.S. anthem? Cass, why are you healing up one by one? Just heal fully, man. <laughs> no, it's just easier. What? Well, okay. All right. Good oh, well, fit for the you. The U.S. anthem is the only one I know on guitar. So. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Well, um, uh, the little groundhog whose name uh, is yet to be determined will run up to Chuck and just... Please, a moment of silence. As you do so. What do you do, Grim? Other than I'm playing gonna, the U.S. Anthem. Yeah. yeah, as he's like, I is he, does he like close his eyes? Yeah. As he's like, mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'm going to sneak over. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to inspect this corpse. Okay. What do, what you do I roll medicine? You can roll me nature. Gotcha.
I'm so good at nature. I'm gonna. I mean, it's dead. <laughs> Rip. Well, yeah. What did you want to do anything in particular? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, as I'm kind of touching the uh, the corpse of this wolf, a small blue particle will sort of come from my hand and transfer itself over to the body of the wolf as it's slowly going to start moving. Huh? And Chuck was the one of the nicest. What the fuck? It's moving! Oh goodness! Oh my God! What the hell? As Chuck, I'm so I'm still setting it up. Give me a second. Sorry. Um, no worries. I, I'll just post a picture as Chuck will come back. As uh, this. <laughs> He gets up, oh, Lord. sniffs at your oh. hands, and then we'll just sit down and <laughs> like a good pupper. Guys, oh, I see. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I wonder what archetype you've taken. <laughs> <laughs> um, shoe. Aren't these animals here supposed to talk? Are they? Oh. Uh, sure, actually. Can I give him a voice or do you want it? That's up to you. <laughs> do you, do you want to voice mm. him or should I voice him? That's up to you. totally up to you. I'm thinking, I know Onovan uh, can wing it, but I don't know if I can. But I am going to try, but if it gets too much, I'll let you know. Let me know. Um, What does Chuck say? Or sight or whatever. What does the wolf say? Sorry. Um, I'm just thinking. Hi! Oh, oh, that one talks too, okay. Oh Hello? God, Hi! Grim, what, what did you do? I don't know, I just... You touched me! Yeah, that... Don't say it like that. It sounds very weird. Guys, what do we do? Is there like an animal shelter for talking dogs? Not if What's a dog? Going? Yeah, and why does it have, I mean, not the weirdest thing I've seen. Oh, there it is. Chuck, what, what's your friend's name here? Uh, sorry. Who Hi, I'm Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hello, Wait, Chuck. you're both called Chuck. Wait, who, who did you, who did you refer to? Did you talk to the groundhog? I don't, I'm sorry. The, the groundhog. Oh, you're a groundhog. I thought you were like a woodchuck or something, right? The, okay. The groundhog's freaking out. He's like. Oh my god, it's alive! It died as I have died! Anyway, yeah, sorry. Oh, so, what do we do? Well, I was gonna flip the fuck out, personally. I don't know about the rest of y'all. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, Grim, what do you mean, what do we do? It's, it's just a dead thing. I... Wow! I don't talk wow! <laughs> Have some like, respect for the dead. I, I can turn it into fertilizer if you like, or but no, it, you know, I will keep it. Oh, that's so surprising! Gosh, well, I'm glad you've come to that decision. <laughs> you know, I, I already uh, have one pet. I I suppose a second one wouldn't wouldn't hurt. You do seem to have an affinity for animals, but is your raven dead as well? No, my raven is very alive. Right. I don't know where well, she is. She's probably flying or on a tree. Two, two out of three ain't bad, I suppose. Yeah. But, um, Wait, what, what? One out of three, right? No, I mean, why are you and dead? Wait, what? Am I? Oh, I two think out we've of three got it alive. Here. We've got it flipped here. I think I thought you were meaning two out of three were undead. Oh, right. Steve. No. Sorry. Sorry. That's my bad. I'm human. Yeah, you, you, you like bread. Of course you're human. But um, no, I uh, look, I, I know you what you what you went through with Jardin was a, a bit rough, but you can't just replace him with a with a, a dog. Hi. Like, yeah. Hello. How do I how do I make it stop? <laughs> well, you could get a really big rock. <laughs> okay. Okay, help me look. <laughs> uh, Chuck, um, d d what do you remember about you know your life? You're sort of a bit decayed in the face. 
Um, well, I was just, you know, chilling. And then this big thing, like, it walked up to me. And it had these really big black eyes. And it sort of just killed me, you know? Oh, that's a, that's that's terrible. Yeah. It also ripped your Dying face off. not too fun. Oh, yeah, it ripped my face off. <laughs> yeah, we can see that. It's okay, buddy. Um, we'll get you a new face if it works like that. Probably not. Where are we gonna get him a new face? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna buy one. I don't know. But... Uh, I oh wait, I've got an idea. Here, can I? Do you mind if I try something, Chuck? Sure. Who's Chuck? Uh, I thought you were Chuck. Oh. Is that not your name? I think I've forgotten my name. Is it Chuck? Well, I don't know. I'll make up something later. Just do what you want to do. Okay, well, um, do you mind if I touch you, Chuck, not Chuck? Sure. Right, okay, Chuck, not Chuck. Uh, here you go. And Onovan's going to take the flower, uh, the leaf mask they got and try and fashion it onto uh, Chuck's head. Just trying to add, add something, so. Um... I want to say a crafting. I know this should be just an automatic yes, but I want to say a crafting check to see how, how well you fit it on him. Do the thing. Could I argue for either a nature or a gardening? It's a... It's a leaf mask. Tell you what. Do me, I say do, that's fair. Do me a crafting, but it's a low DC with your gardening skills, okay. all right? It's not a high DC. Okay. Actually, Paulo, when I was inspecting oh, yeah. how Chuck Not Chuck died, could I have rolled either these lores that I don't know how I got, death lore and undead lore, okay. could I have used either of those? Why do you have... Uh, roll me a death lore. Okay. Can Can you move my leaf mask into uh, Chuck Not Chuck's? <laughs> sure, let me... Excuse me. Let me go ahead and make him a linked token. That way he doesn't lose stuff whenever. Thank you. And then let me go ahead and uh, put him in his inventory. Like, I, I know you want it to be called Scythe, but <laughs> Chuck, not Chuck, is so... Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was going with the theme, okay? But fine, we'll call him Chuck. Wait, what? Nice. Wait, what? You want You want? <laughs> you can call, call it. You can, no, you can call it whatever you want, but Chuck, not Chuck, just gives me, like, yeah. warm, we've fuzzy got feelings. Grim, we've got Reaper, and then I was like, okay, so what do I do now? So, like, Scythe, nice. sure. I'm sorry, that's my bad. But yeah, I don't think it would have been called Scythe when he's alive. So, um, yeah, yeah. Um, well, it'll it'll come to him later. We can <laughs> we can we can we can we can lore Scythe later. We're calling Chuck for now. All right. Um, yeah. Sick. Uh, he's gonna earn that name. Yes, right. Um, Chuck will, and then you manage to fit the mask pretty well. Rough. Nice. Well, this is really weird. Oh, I got it. I, I thought I put it on his inventory. Okay, hold on. Oh, I've disappeared. No, it's just... Wait, let me adjust it. You just can't see anything. Oh. You've not disappeared. No. I'm gone it's again. Just, no, it's just covering your eyes. What Chuck, are you not doing? Chuck. No, it's fine. Look, wait. You just start shaking. <laughs> Here you go. There you go. Oh, my God. That Much was horrifying. It was like I was in a state of perpetual being. Look, before uh, light, there's darkness. It's always darkest before the dawn and um, photosynthesis. So, good. Actually, it's normally uh, darkest around 3.30. I'm actually having trouble. Uh, I don't need to refresh. Sorry. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to um, give Trey a hero point at this point for a silly joke. Nice. At this point. Sorry. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm refreshing. Um, Appreciate it. Right. Well, uh, Chalk, if you've... Do you want to stay here with, you know, all your friends and your family? Or, or if you don't remember, you can... I don't really remember we're, any of that. Well, Grim, what's that blue thing above their head? Did, I saw that come from you. I don't know. Could I have maybe realized something with my undead lore roll? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to give Chuck a leaf mask. It's not working. I don't... Gotcha. Take your time. Um... Come on, Chuck. You can take the... Okay, I'm going to give you a steel shield, Chuck. Okay, that oh. well, that works. Wait. 
Why does the leaf mask not work? Your 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 on you on event oh, sheet. It's in here. There we it's go. I just there. gave it to him. Yeah, okay. I just gave it to him. Yeah. Sorry, gotcha. uh, I've been trying to it's been glitching recently. I don't know why. Anyway, um, what you drill out with death lore, mm -hmm. Chuck? You know, roll me one d one hundred. Okay. Good. Uh, high is good. Low is bad. Chuck's death was as you know, it wasn't a painful, painful death. His face was ripped off after he died, but he did feel a little bit of pain as he succumbed to the eternal darkness. Um, however, his soul lingered around the area for a little bit uh, before it, and as, as it was about to um, head on to the next world, you came and did something, whatever that thing is, to have his soul come back know. into his... Well, bring his soul back, but obviously Chuck, you know, once a body dies, it starts decomposing, all that yeah. jazz. So Chuck is, I'm going to consider mechanically alive, just really fucking mm. rotten. Yeah. Lies in, played off flesh. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I am honestly not too sure what happened. I just, I was going to collect all his bones for my collection, and then he just... Became, you were gonna collect my bones? Yeah, I. No, I would never do such a thing. Okay. They, no, they they do do that. <laughs> That's a hero point choice house. as well. Jesus Christ. Hell, me. Have you dealt with anything like this before yourself? I most assuredly have not. We don't really have much in the way of um. How shall I put this? Differently alive sorts. <laughs> where I'm from. Uh, yeah. Hey, you seem to have a lot of eyes. Maybe you could spare some for my new dog. Well, he sees fine already, which, by the way, is definitely not creepy at all, but... Uh, yeah, that would totally be weird if someone saw without eyes. Cass, you're, you're covered in bones. Do, do you... I mean, I'm not good with that. You know, it wasn't me who made this. I was, uh, it yeah, was it, my it family. Was kind of family nice heirloom, you know? Right. Oliver just goes to stand with Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess Jordan's we have leaning a on his staff and just watching this whole ordeal with a smirk on his face. You seem to be smiling. Have you? Is this normal for you? Oh, let's just say I've seen something similar. I did. Oh, okay. It's over here now. Oh, oh, no, please, please don't touch me, please. I, uh, I am not good with bone. It's okay. I'm partially skin, ten percent. All right, I'm still good. Not good with the rest of the bone. Um. Well, Chuck, uh, why don't you follow closely with Grim, and we'll just give you some space. You know, that's a good idea. At this point yeah, okay. in time, because I'm a completionist, <laughs> Thorin will start making his way down. Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey, I, I remember that guy, I think. Oh, he's a scared bear. Hey, Thorn. What's up, guys? What? That's the king of the wood. That's right, it's Not me. a scared bear at all. What? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I know you're right. Uh, I just, I was fighting off all those uh, uh, dark-eyed dogs. Some got past right, me, well, though, uh, and killed poor Ch Chuck. What the hell, Chuck? Hey, what's up? Hey, Do I'm I know you? Chuck, man, come on. You remember me? Papa Bear, Papa Thorn. Sounds really weird, but I don't know who you are, man. What? Oh, are you related to Papa Claus? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Papas in this land. Uh, no, that guy, that guy's... guy's. <laughs> this forest is full of daddies. Jardine, maybe you'll, <laughs> maybe you'll find somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> You thanks, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if he doesn't get I a don't have for that, daddy issues. <laughs> I'm gonna give Jordan the hero point actually, because Anna's Anna's still on the show. So Jordan, take the hero point. Oh, you're, you're, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, oh, add the hero point, help me if you haven't already. Uh, see you. I did. Thank you. Uh, why does it say? Is my thing glitching? You're at zero. Red zero, buddy. 
It says I've got one on mine. Fuck me. Something's glitching here on my end. I'm going to refresh. I, I installed a bunch of new modules, and apparently they're not working too great. So, uh, Pablo, question. Uh, since we started later, are we going to end later as well? Or I could end earlier, but I don't want to charge less if that's... No, no, no it's fine. I, I'm fine with going whatever. I just want to know. Yeah, no, we we would be doing the three and a half hours um till gotcha. till. I mean, right. is that is that okay? Can you stay up? I know. Yeah, you... yeah, that's fine. Okay. I can stay up. I, I've got a free day tomorrow, so. Well, that's convenient and good. So, um, perfect. Uh, okay. Where's your hair point? What's going on? I, oh God, I'm having technical issues today. All right, perfect. Um, <clears throat> uh, where was I? Oh yeah, Thor Thorin will. Be sad that Chuck does not recognize him. Be confused. I thought you died, Chuck. And then we'll be... Um, uh, I mean, my skull is a face. Oh, what is... I'm not very alive. The ma I, I put a, f a leaf crown on... Uh, oh, well, my le a leaf I've mask. got a leaf face. The, the mask is on, Chuck, so Thorne is not afraid. Oh. Yeah. Gotcha. So do, is it, does it cover, like, his whole face? So no one knows he's not... Yeah, I, it's kind of like, like you, Grim. Yeah. No. Nah, what? No. No. It, it covers even... your whole face, right? Oh, right. It, it also right, covers the yeah, dog's yeah. face. Yeah. Gotcha. What did I, I say? It. What did I say? I didn't say anything. <laughs> God damn it! All right. Um. Anyway, Thorin will. Uh, you guys need a guy to get out of here. Stark. Well, that's pretty convenient. Yeah, we that do need nice a guy. Perfect. Um, and he will start leading you. Uh, to... Oh. To one more place. Yes, we're going. Fuck, fuck it. Why not? I know somebody doesn't have a token here. I'll set it up. Sorry. And uh, that Delamere. would be New Hell Men. And then I'm going to put Chuck in here. And then Dalamir is gone. No! No, Thorin, don't attack us. Um, is. No, Thorin, don't uh, just a question. Us. What? Uh, we changed the map and it's the same map we did the battle on, so I was just being a bit meta funny. Uh, thingy, thingy got a, a, a cloak. I'm wondering what happened to that cloak, paladin friend. <clears throat> Helmy got nice little bonus starting gold. It all nice. It all evens. Sick. It all evens out. So don't. Worry. Just wondered. Yeah. I, I was I was less like I wouldn't even care if you didn't do anything. I just wanted to like know what you're sort. It's of... a very good point. Um, normally. Oh wait. What did he? Oh, he got a nice cloak. Yeah, pretty pretty swish. Did he identify it and everything? Um, no, he just didn't. I think he was. I thought we knew it was a, like a cloak of protection sort no, of thing. No, it wasn't something. a cloak but... of protection. However, um, let me check a couple things here. Uh, just meta. Let me check some things. Uh, got you. Uh, <clears throat> okay, that's interesting. I'm just checking wealth, just to just to keep it keep it in line with, uh, yeah. you know. Sure. Sure thing. So if Parius is around, I need to do some math. I apologize. Sorry. This is important. Yep. Just bear with me because this might be important whether you get that clip or not. Um, okay. Fifty-eight plus fifty-seven. That's Arno. Tell me. Grim is 57. Cass is a lot. Damn, Cass, what do you got? Yeah, that's the Maestro's instrument. Mm -hmm. That's the major. That's 60 by All itself. Right. And then Jordan has that. And then I did. And Parius will have that. With that, that is that much party wealth. And I'm just going to check a chart here. So, I I'm wondering, so in the Netherlands, we have this game we play when we're bored. It's called, like, I guess the literal translation would be "I see what you don't see." I yeah, spy. Like, I yeah, that okay. Thanks. I just needed to know that. That's so good. 
Okay, uh... Yeah... Oh wait, it's a times... Oh, interesting. It's additional party currency as well. So that's actually 440. Um, you guys are uh, pretty close to level two party wealth. So I, sorry, I'm just trying to make it make it um balance. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, just so I'm gonna say that cloak is gone. With um, if you were if you were deficient or if you were like you know lacking some stuff, but I did I did calculate level two party wealth, and you guys are pretty much at at the Sick. at the thing. So don't worry. Uh, don't worry though. I will. I do award additional treasures every once in a while, and we'll we'll get that something. And let's say you know, um, what's his name? Uh, Dolomir just left with it, and he's got a nice, comfy cloak with him for now. Yeah. Nice, good. Uh, yes, um, joy. Yes, joy. Sorry. Okay. So Thorin leads you forward. You meet the elk on the way. You're welcome to say hello. What's up, bros? Um, looks like Alyssa's free. She hung out with us a couple of minutes ago. She's doing fine. Yeah? Oh, that's great. Cool. Take Talk to you later. And they will fly off. And I think... Later, skater. Um, sorry. What was it? You guys were role-playing. Continue if you'd like. Sorry. Hell, me, have you ever seen this sort of thing around here? Well, where you're from, like, talking bears and... You know, do animals talk where you're from? We had a couple uh, raiders who were werebears, but uh, I think that's kind of different. A what? Werebear? Yeah. You don't know whether you're from? Sorry? You mean you don't know where they were from? No, no, no. They were, I don't know where they were from, but you know, they they got bitten and then they turned into bears sometimes, usually on the full moon. Oh, no. I get the joke Wait. now. So okay. they wear bears? Like, they, their costumes are like bears. So they were bears then? Well, there were some people that did that, but I think they did that for a very different reason. So, were people or were bears? Yes. I mean, people can wear bears. <laughs> it's just, you know... Stop! I'm gonna remove a hero point! <laughs> 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 Depends what you're into. So how much money did they spend the werebears? <laughs> I mean, some people are into bears, some people are into daddies. In that right, Jarden? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad. All right, let's get you out of here. Um, we're gonna. <laughs> So they were bears? We're gonna you guys continue talking about bears. Thorin's confused. What about bears? Um, but you guys make your way out of the wildwood um and start galloping back into seven. Galloping? You have horses, right? Usually... We had horses, yeah. Unless they died. Probably. So I ain't riding I ain't riding. Well, horse. let's get to the horse like area. Girl. Yeah. I follow the horse. Well you guys Well, you're not you're not riding the horse? I'm not riding the horse. Oh, uh, no. Right. That's four days back. Uh, it's a long walk. Um, How can I convince you? Uh, these aren't horses. They're just... Uh, like Islos, I made them out of plants. They just look like horses. It's very convincing. You don't need to worry you wanna, about it. You want to roll deception on that? I don't actually know. <laughs> you got a crit on this. Uh, go ahead if you want to. All right. No, you have to roll deception on him and do it. Roll deception. Roll me a nat 20. If you do. Let's oh, my God. It. Well, wouldn't it be against perception? Out of interest, like, isn't that how it normally works? Or yeah, but just... I think uh, their perception is. A... Oh, it's a 16. Okay. Okay. No, you are correct. Roll me at least a 16. Okay. You can tell I'm lying. <laughs> I just I don't I don't want to say that I don't trust you on this thing, but I can smell the horse, and <sighs> that doesn't smell like no plant. <laughs> like, I but, uh, it's like um, well shit. Hold, on, let me see what I can, everywhere. What can I do here? 
Um, well. Oh, how 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 fast do horses move? Let me think. Do they move like fifty feet? Is that the speed they're, or like they what? They are thirty-five or four. They're forty, I think. Actually, I think about it. Okay. Is this less large? No, she's not. She's not. Less large. Well, shit. Okay. Soon, you know. Um. It look. It, it'll just take us four days. Is the issue? Hell me. Like we've we've just gotten out of the forest made camp here, so it's, I, I suppose it's not too bad just right now. But, um. We've got this Bolin person with us, and the longer we have them, it, it means we have to, like, worry about them getting, you know, like, waking up and tying them back up and knocking them out again. Um, and I don't... It had to be horses, though. It couldn't be, like, donkeys or unicorns. I'd rather horses are them. faster. Now I know why um, Helmy took so long. She walked the four days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, um, is it just the smell? No. What about a horse? Let's walk, work through your horse trauma right now in camp. I ain't got no trauma. Okay, well, that's good. Good start. So no trauma. Don't need to work through that. So why not the horses? I know you said something about your dad. You can't trust them. Right. What if it was a horse that was colored a different color? Yeah, like a like a like a you know like a red horse or like a like a green. I mean, that would be racist. Green horse, you know. So what? Green horses well, are more would... trustworthy. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm coming with solutions. <laughs> they couldn't be any less trustworthy. A yeah, herd of elk, horses. Jeremy and Co. will pass by. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all having issues? What's going on? These uh, people well, are trying to convince me that horses are trustworthy, but you and I both know that horses ain't shit. Yeah, man. Horses okay. suck, dude. Whoa, what the hell? No, look, horses, horses have excellent hearing. Don't let them hear you say that. Yeah. Horses are too goddamn dumb to he understand what I'm saying. <sighs> that, Even in they, the that's Jamaican just hood. rude. Horses are highly intelligent animals. They can be taught many different tasks through positive reinforcement and clicker training, I'll have you know. Horses will get scared by a weird-looking rock trip and get colic and die that's okay? right horses suck i mean you could also do that uh, i wouldn't get colic well y'all no, were, but... were arguing pretty loudly so i just came to investigate what's going on what's the issue look if you're if you're going to stick your antlers in okay why don't you help us out okay give us give Helmy here a ride with us back to seven arches he thinks about it for a second well I'll, I'll pay you an apples. Oh shit! Deal. Right. Well, I'll give you. A, I'll give so you a bushel of apple? them. No, look. I go over to um, Islos. Have you still got that fruit basket? Why, well, sure, I do. Uh, it's right here. And they, the fruit basket we had from the market scene when we were at the. Uh, she produces a fruit basket, and I'm, I'm guessing fruit can last three days. Yeah, it's apples. Is that apples fair? last quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. Right here you go. Dude. Got a couple here. I'll give you. I'll give you one now, and the rest when you you complete your task. It's an acceptable bribe, my dude. We'll go. Me, I'll, I'll... See, El Elks is smart and trustworthy animals. A reindeer is smart and trustworthy. A horse, where in the middle of the woods, where everything down to the rats can talk, and these dumb horses still ain't shit. All right. Oh, look, oh, help me. The these ones are awakened the are down south by the gnome commune. But anyway, yeah, we'll uh. Sorry. Uh, Tell me, how I mean, it's like, can you have so many eyes, yet still you can't see how good you horses are? No, no, uh, 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 you know. Well, I'm looking at these untrustworthy shit factories you're calling horses, and I... I, I mean, that is their name. Look, this is like comparing, I don't know, Casta Jardin is just not a fair comparison. Hey, hey, I'm the good one, right? Sure. Uh, buddy. sure. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that as long as we get from point A to point B, I don't care if we're riding horses, donkeys, or polar bears, or whatever bullshit. Well, I the don't want to ride polar bears. And I'd still trust it over these damn horses. <laughs> polar bears are What sneaky. has a horse done to you? They ain't done nothing to me. 
So why do you think they're untrustworthy? I don't want to talk about it. Hey, hey, so hey. what happened? Open up. No, can I that, roll that, for that, diplomacy and see if I can get it open? There was, a, there was an altercation with a horse, and it's fair enough if they don't want to talk about it. You, you got to respect these things, Grim. You know, fair enough. I Why guess. did you become so fucking diplomatic, is lost, right? Well, uh, I, I think, I think that if we've got this elk, what's your name again, elk? Jeremy. That's a weird name for an elk. I'd expect what? something like if bar, bar follow. Want to start something, buddy? Come on, say something. Did you just walk over me? No. Uh, wait. Look, um, Jeremy, Grim can't decide whether their name's spelled with one M or two, so... Um, wow! I, w I wouldn't... I'm joke's on you, I can't spell! <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, but look, how about, uh, you know, we all just take a rest here, um, and we start out in the morning, because I think we've all had a long day by this point. What are you doing with um, Ball, and every time he wakes up, do you knock him back into unconsciousness again, or what? That can't be good for him long term. <laughs> so yeah, probably not. Long to care. Uh, can, can we, like, can I spend this evening, like, fashioning, like, a flower gag? Sure. Not the strangest request. I want to touch the shiver on him. Been asked so far. You do? I'll put Bolin on the map here. Uh, Jardin. Yes, sir. W would you be all right looking out after um, our bowling problem here? I just, he looks around like, like I said before, you know, I don't want to compare the others to you. It's a bit unfair, but uh, I think you'd be the best for it. I'm literally right here. <laughs> I, whatever you thought I said, your mask is obscuring the sound. Don't worry about it. Clearly, he's just uh, forcing around. Oh, God. You can make that joke. Uh, he's uh, I appreciate around. the flattery. And uh, yes, I will take first first watch. I have uh, I think I've gotten the hang of uh, using these baubles to... Uh, uh, good effect, so I can work on that while uh, I'm keeping watch. Mm. I will say mechanically, oh, once you long rest today, you'll be able to start, you know, your daily preparations with, you know, creating talismans and whatnot. Right. I hope you know how that works in your crafting tab there, Jordan. <clears throat> Maybe um, go to your crafting tab. I just close and open your character sheet. I just added a crafting tab again. Um, go to known formulas at the bottom. Drag some talismans. All right, that you can find, and then um, stick them in talisman dabbler. And you can create the daily crafting. That's everywhere. sick. Yeah. I love that archetype. That's so yeah. banging. Outstanding. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'll be able to make two talismans a day. So, uh, tell you what. Do I sleep? I don't know. Do you? I'm looking at the page, but it doesn't say. You would take four hours on a just a recuperation thing. Gotcha. So. I'll just sit on the log for four hours. Or do I have to lay down for it? Uh, sorry, one second. Uh, you would have to just, yeah, just relax and spend four hours at kind of just chilling, I guess. Sitting there. Yeah. Fair enough. I'll do that. Um, okay. Here's the deal. Um, I want to call it slightly earlier today i know we're having fun but also um uh we are past well past normal session time and i think it's also a good